Peruvian wine, Wikipedia article audio. Peruvian wine dates back to the Spanish colonization of the region in the 16th century. History Peru shares a similar climate with wine-producing country Chile, which is favorable for producing wine. In 2008, there were some 14,000 hectares of grape plantations in Peru, including table grapes, and some 610,000 hectoliters of wine was produced, with an increasing trend in both plantations and wine production. Most vineyards are located on the central coast, around Pisco and ICA, where most of Peru's winemaking and distillation takes place. Grape varieties cultivated include Albillo, Alicante Buschet, Barbara, Cabernet Sauvignon, Grenache, Malbec, Moscatel, Sauvignon Blanc, and Tarantel. The first grape vines were brought to Peru shortly after its conquest by Spain. Spanish chroniclers from the time note that the first vinification in South America took place in the Hacienda Marquesa of Cusco. However, the largest and most prominent vineyards of the 16th and 17th century Americas were established in the ICA Valley of South Central Peru. In the 1540s, Bartolomé de Terrazas and Francisco de Carabance began vineyards in Peru. The latter established vineyards in ICA, which Spaniards from Andalusia and Extremadura used to introduce grape vines into Chile. The growth of mining in Potosí in present-day Bolivia, which became the largest city in the Americas in the 17th century, created a constant demand for wine which was supplied mainly from Peru. In Potosí part of salaries were paid with wine. Furthermore, Peruvian wine growers supplied the city of Lima, the most important political center in South America in the 16th and 17th centuries. In 1687 the whole southern coast of Peru was struck by the 1687 Peru earthquake which destroyed the cities of Villa de Pisco and ICA. The earthquake destroyed wine cellars and mud containers used for wine storage. This event marked the end of the Peruvian wine boom. The suppression of the Society of Jesus in Spanish America in 1767 caused the Jesuit vineyards in Peru to be auctioned at high prices but new owners did not have the same expertise as the Jesuits contributing to a production decline. Peruvian winemaking was further challenged by the fact that production of pisco, also made from grapes, rose from being exceed in the early 18th century by wine to represent 90% of the grape beverages prepared in Peru in 1764. Even after the shift to Pisco making did vineyards in Peru encountered economic troubles since in the late 18th century the Spanish crown lifted the ban on the production of rum in Peru which was cheaper and but of lower quality than Pisco. The decline of Peruvian wine even caused Peru to import some wine from Chile as it happened in 1795 when Lima imported 5.000 troves from Concepcion in southern Chile. This particular export showed the emergence of Chile relative to Peru as a winemaking region. During the 19th Peruvian winemaking went further into decline. Demand in industrialized Europe caused many Peruvian wine growers to shift the land use from vineyards to lucrative cotton fields, contributing further to the decline of the wine and pisco industry. This was particularly true during the time of the American Civil War when the cotton prices skyrocketed due to the blockade of the South and its cotton fields. <laughs>